Hello, everybody. We are back with Squid Junction 42. We are going on to round three. It's going to be Decay versus Nimport. I'm Debbie, and I'm joined by Sherbert. Hi. As said, I'm Sherbert. I'm so hyped for this next match. Game one is going to be on Splat Zone's Manta Maria. You know what weapon I want to see? What weapon do you want to see? I want to see a tri <laughs> Yeah, I, I was gonna I say, do I? I think I know this answer, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bite anyway. I'm gonna... <laughs> I appreciate you, because Manta Maria is split into two zones. So if you're not have, if you don't have someone who can swiftly move between the two and ink while the others are, you know, taking on enemies, can be a little rough. But there's a million and one comps that work for this, and I'm excited to see what they choose. Yeah, everyone's got their own kind of strategy, and uh, with these teams. Like I've been saying before, there's usually one with some familiarity and one that has a surprise factor. With Decay, there's definitely some known players there. Uh, Johan, Junkie, uh, Kito, Chris. Um, I, I run into those players quite a lot. <laughs> um, and then the other team, is, is it's, it's a complete surprise to me. So I am not familiar with, uh, with Nimport. This will definitely be new to me. So I'm excited, especially for Manta Zones with this little surprise factor here. By far one of my favorite maps. And, oh, here we go, we're getting right on into it. Got this taunt, oh, Octobrush, my set. nah, that would have been the second thing I would have loved to see here. I'm expecting some juicy zip cast coming out from that side. Yeah. From the side of Decay, specifically. Here we go. We see a tent appearing, so we've got a tent player amongst uh, amongst these two teams. And yes, of course, the Octobrush that I knew going into this. I knew Junkie was an Octobrush player. So comboing with the Wiper. Unfortunately, as I say that, the Wiper does go down, though, uh, in return for the tent. Looks like the Splatlin's getting picked as well. We've got a Splat Bath happening on these zones as Junkie is going around getting a jump in for the Wiper. Unfortunately, the Wiper isn't able to seal that pick, and uh, uh, Nimport's just moving in on Ooh, <laughs> Junkier, good. but able to narrowly escape. What a good jump out. I thought for sure they were splatted, but they're able to regroup with their team. Skatana's holding on to the ramp, and oh, remember, the machine on the side of Nimport is trying to ledge guard that bunker, but goes down. It is a 2v3 now, with Skatana has hammer ready, and they're running in looking for picks. I would not want to be in mid right now, but Tahi's on the side of Nimport. Ma oh, doesn't manage to get out. They tried it. They almost got on the sneaky and succeeded. Decay has entire mid control here, and Nimport is pushed back into their spawn. They're going to have to start getting some ink on the ground quickly. Yeah, it looks like that uh, the clock is ticking. Lead will probably go in the favor here. There it is. Of course, they still want to definitely try to get down into a secure spot. Uh, where they can feel comfy, and we see this wiper just maintaining space here, using the rain shots, is getting... There's that brush wiper combo we were waiting to see. Uh, the brush did end up going down. We see the wiper here just maintaining space really well. They have that hammer still ready as a backup resource. They are trying to make sure that this tent can't fall down and push Ooh. into the street. And what a nice pick there. Again, they picked off the tent from around the side. All this fall off is you <laughs> coming into play here. <laughs> The hammer going around to see if it can maybe land on top. This could be a KO right here. The brush goes down. Can they hold it? It's been neutralized. And that's the game. Unable to get the paint off of it as the splash got picked off from behind. <laughs> Link and you miss it. Gay one went to decay. They, they had mid... Con uh, the first minute or so... It was a very good back and forth between the two, but once Decay got man managed to get control of mid, they did not let go and they refused to go down. I uh, I see in chat that uh, Nimport is actually French for whatever, and I mean, <laughs> I could potentially say it more French, but nine years of studying the second language in this country has not done me well. I would try to say it, but then Pat will bully me forever, so I will let that go. <laughs> but yeah, Decay taking that set there. Um, the really good place for both teams at the start there, and we could just see afterwards with the... We had the view on the Wiper, where, like I said, they were using the range that the Wiper can have to do poke. Um, the brush came in from the side to be able to help secure that. 
and uh, get just some extra damage down. Even though the brush went down, the wiper still was there, had the hammer as the resource. And you can see even that side there, we didn't get, get like the best of view of it, but there was a lot of fall off poke happening. And the tent got picked off again, I believe on the side on the deck on kind of like that back left there. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think there was a lot of fall off happening that made it really hard for Nimport to come back in. That it was. And honestly, it was fun to see Getting ready for Inkblot Art Academy Tower Control. Mixed reviews on this map, personally, but it is a fun one to play and a fun <laughs> one to watch. Especially when- because mid-control is important for the beginning of the push, but if you do not have your plat down packed, you can either hop- the enemy team can either hop up the step, take the ra take the rail, or take the uninkable. So there's three ways in, one way out. This is a map mode teams definitely want to know how to play. It is a common counter pick. Um, it is, like, probably, like, the, one of the top three most used map modes that we see in S3. So, uh, like it or not, we're gonna want to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> but it yes, you here. have a solid point. You want to make sure you have that plat secured, whether, uh... Like you're on uh, defense there, you don't want to rush it because similar thing as Manta, there is a solid gap there where fall off can uh, play into your demise there, and uh, you can get trapped in those closed areas up top. So you really want to make sure you have control of that. But of course, you don't want to waste any time either. You want to push up as soon as you have an opportunity to be able to secure those areas. And we see that uh, the there's a stamper coming out to combat the wiper. Hopefully they're able to do so. Oh, already one down on each side as we're coming in. Already has a tri spikes ready from the side of Nimport. Three down. It's a 1v1, just not even 30 seconds in. Did everyone to... just get trades? 1v1 I... trades across the board? I didn't I quite see what happened did. there. That's what it looked like. <laughs> it was either trades or one picked off the other. It's like, don't hurt my friend. You don't hurt my friend. You don't hurt my friend. And we went three down on each side. Nimport's starting to get in as they move the tower here and one of them goes two of them down on the side of Nimport. Decay is responding with their specials quickly and in a hurry as they gain mid control here. I also didn't mention that uh, Johan switched to the leader here which applies a lot of control just from tower up on those stacks taking up basically majority of this map. The Stamper is going to come in and zip cast here to try to pick off that leader and does succeed, but is traded back in return. So it ends up being Decay that still has that man advantage. And you can see they do not let up here as this Wiper putting in some work again, comboing with the Octo Brush and uh, being able to hold these areas. And now it is just the Stamper left alive from Nimport. They're desperately trying to hold on their plat while they're getting pressure from the Wiper on the other side. But this Wiper has him. Oh! As soon as I said it, that hammer could have come in handy here as a burst bomb. Hopefully Nimport can take advantage of this situation. They're trying they're starting to regain turf, but that brush is going in and they get the trade against the stamper. Johan on E-Leader is pressuring the heck out of the enemy flat, trying to keep me maintain control as they push down to 27. Just one checkpoint left and Decay's able to KO, and they're getting pretty close. Oh, good pick from Karubi. But it's a wipeout! The oh, follow-up no. from Decay picks off Karubi, even though Karubi did get that solid pick on the leader there to get rid of the range. The rest of Decay was ready to follow up on that. When one of their teammates goes down, you can see that they have the mobility to swoop right around and be like, You splattered our teammate? I'm watching you. splattered you. yours. <laughs> Decay went down three here, so Nimport's getting a good opportunity to retake med mid and get ready for another push. They're letting the tower ride itself back, but the wiper and the brush are already pressuring them on the left side and both go down. Who's left is Chris retreating to their flat as Johan tries to provide some E-leader cover. And Nimport comes out with a tri-strike, standard anti-E-leader behavior. Yep, Tri Strikes want to push back that leader. We see the Stamper trying to go in with the Zip Cast. Unfortunately, the didn't quite maneuver how they wanted to go with the Zip Cast here. Uh, I think they wanted to hit that further wall uh, just for extra protection and go above it, but unfortunately wasn't able to get that, so it did get pinned by the shooter there. Um, and we see right away that after with those uh, picks that Decay is already back in mid with solid control. You can see the leaders already on the stack. We can see Junkie on the side with the brush everywhere they want to be. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of eyes to focus on. And Nimport just has to find one side and just commit to it and then follow through with the rest. 
Junkie gets a couple of picks there with the zip cast, helping out the team as needed. Decay gets back on their flat, ready for another push. With only 11 points left and no checkpoint to stop them, Nimboard's gonna have to get the picks here. They're Opening with the tri strike, they managed to pick off. Oh, they managed to pick off Johan and three down on the side of Nimport, two down on the side of the K. The machine tries to hold out, but Dennis is on top of it, pressuring oh, the tower. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that hammer snipe, though! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> oh, the emergency oh. burst bomb! Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. Wow! Decay wants the KO and then the additional hammers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a shot we got from that, too. There was also a really great play between Johan and Junkie that happened just beforehand. Johan, Johan was kind of trapped underneath tower there and was actually, uh, like, baiting a member of Nimport to go follow and actually go to fight Johan. Junkie waited in the corner for the member to come out behind the cover. Yes, they got Johan, but Junkie was able to just go straight forward after that. Pick the player and continue on. That was the best case of fishing I've seen in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm so excited. I'm gonna watch that back. I need to see it. I need to see it happen all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I caught that in the corner. I'm like, the bait is happening. I see it. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Decay there just taking it over though. Nimport there definitely kind of struggling on the defense and you could see like uh, Decay as well using those communication like some of those plays cannot be done if it is not communicated. Uh, some might they, or they just like play together enough to know that. So uh, you, you could see that that is a big thing that the, the team definitely knows that they've had established, what they're ready to do. And again, you could see the combos with the wiper and the brush and the Nimport there. They did try to adapt to it. You could see with the comp change that they wanted to fight that uh, wiper with the stamper, getting the extra range with the poke. Uh, Cause stampers do have some pretty nasty combos. I've, uh, I definitely felt the pain of stamper combos <laughs> quite a bit. So <laughs> I've, I've run from a stamper many a time just for them to zip cast and say, get back here, which you know, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely does. Oh my goodness. But uh, great uh, performance there by both teams overall. Again, congrats to Decay uh, for winning the set. And as it was such a quick KO, we'll probably take a little break here, getting ready for the next bracket. Stay hydrated. Yes, please do. Splatoon Stronghold, a stronghold for competitive Splatoon, providing resources to long-timers and newcomers alike. If you're new to the competitive scene or still figuring out how to join, we have a getting started guide and plenty of other resources to help you in your journey. If you're a seasoned veteran, we still have plenty to offer. You can find a request recordings of scrims as well as participate in our captain form and find free agents and teams. Our mission is to make competitive Splatoon easily accessible to everyone. So what are you waiting for? Join the Splatoon Stronghold today.